face up. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do, I'm just joking, however you have to do it. And you're um, just going to record only your face. Yeah, from here down, please. Um, so um, the first thing you're going to do is get some cotton balls pretty soaked with alcohol. They, sh they should be like, pretty, you should be able to squeeze some alcohol out of them, so don't be shy. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pick up the tonometer out of the case. Now, the tonometer has um, all these little fragile looking parts. These are the finger rests, the horseshoe shaped areas. Horseshoe -shaped. Rest your thumb and your finger um, on those areas. This is the scale up here. I mean, you want to try to avoid touching that. It's pretty fragile. The pin, you know, you don't want to bend it or anything like that. It'll ruin it. And then um, you'll notice that this whole thing slides when I turn it the other way. That's normal. We want that to happen. <clears throat> so I'm going to turn it upside down. Take one of my cotton balls, wipe off the foot plate. This is the part that touches the eye. It's called the foot plate. And I'm going to squeeze some of the um, alcohol through the hole in the center of that foot plate. And you can see how it's dripping out the bottom. That's good. Now the tenometers all have a, a pipe cleaner with them. Um, you just run the pipe cleaner down through the center of the hole after you run that alcohol in there. That's picking up any extra debris that might have gotten trapped in there. And then I'm going to wipe off that foot plate just one more time in case there's any lint from the um, uh, pipe cleaner. Yeah, thank you. And then I'm going to set this back down just real gently on top of the case. I'm not going to put it back in there so I don't have to manipulate it all, a whole bunch to get it out, but I'm just going to set it right back on there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this little pin. Um, so the pin has, let's see if I can hold it so you can see it, a thick end and a thin end. The thick end is the end that touches the animal's eye, so try to keep your fingers as far away from that end as possible, just a septic technique. Um, so I'm going to try to get this little um, five and a half gram weight off of here by twisting it. Once it comes off, I'm going to set it down here. Take another cotton ball, I'm going to wipe over the threads where I just um, unscrewed that. I'm going to move my fingers over the threads, wipe off the other side, set it down right on top of the case there. I'm going to wipe off my little weight, set that back down, and then I'm going to pick the tonometer back up again. <coughs> so when I pick the tonometer up um, this time, if you need to twist this, you can twist it by these little um, edges here. It's okay to touch that part. So I've got the tonometer. I'm going to hold it so that my hand is underneath it because when I drop this weight, it's going to roll all over the place if it hits the floor or the table, so I'd rather it land in my hand. What you need to do is grab this little pin, And you're going to hold it right over the threads where that little weight was screwed onto. The weight was screwed onto. And I'm going to put the thin end pointing towards the scale. So the skinnier end of the pin, I'm going to get inside of this hole pointing towards the scale. So um, all you do, and you want to make, care, make sure that your fingers aren't actually coming in contact with the foot plate, you're just going to drop it in the hole and then let it slide all the way through. <coughs> now, if I turn this up the other way, that pin, nothing's holding it in there, so it will fall back out, so keep it horizontal. The next thing I need to do is get this um, five gram weight back on this pin. So those of you with big fingers and no fingernails, good luck. Um, so I'm just going to slide this pin down. See what I'm doing with my finger here? I'm going to slide the pin down slightly, <clears throat> but I'm going to keep my finger resting on it so that it doesn't slide all the way through. Can you see that okay down there? Okay. Then I'm going to pick up this little weight. Now if you're holding it like this, you're going to have a problem. So try to hold it like this. It will go a little bit easier for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the pin or the weight right over the um, pin. So I'm going to line up the pin with the hole in the weight. And then I'm going to let the weight just guide itself right over that pin and let the pin fall back through it, which is sometimes easier said than done. So once I've got the weight onto the pin, Again, keep your finger on that pin so that it doesn't slide off, otherwise you're going to have to keep trying to get it back on there again. So my, pin, my finger is stabilizing that pin so it doesn't slide anywhere. Now I need to get it attached. Remember how there were threads on there? It was attached originally. So I'm going to spin this until it catches on those threads. And see how this is getting shorter? That means it's just working its way up the threads. This is a free spinning piece of, um, the little pin is free spinning in there, so no matter how much you twist this, it will never feel like it is tightened. Um, so once you have this, um, see how close the pin is back to the scale side of that? Once it's pretty close to there, you can check and see if it's attached. And the way you do that is you just turn it vertically and let go of your finger and pray. 
<laughs> um, let go of it. If it doesn't fall through, it was attached. You did it fine. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wipe this off one more time. And then this little silver thing that's in here, see this little silver circle that's inside the case there? That's the calibration tool. I'm going to wipe it off. And now I'm going to make sure that this is calibrated properly so that I can use it on an animal. It should read zero if it's calibrated properly. So I'm going to touch the foot plate to the calibration tool. Did it go to zero? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's calibrated properly. It, you should get repeat readings of it. Every time you do it, it should, should consistently be on zero if it's calibrated properly. One thing that's important to note is that this, this cylinder is free floating. I do not want to push this cylinder all the way down. You should leave it free floating on the, the column that it's on. If you're pushing it all the way down, you can ruin the equipment. You should never push it all the way down when it's on an animal's eye. Um, it's way too much pressure. You'll get a, an inaccurate reading and your patient won't like it. Um, so free floating is how we want to take, is the best place to take the reading. The other thing to note is watch what happens when I have very slight movements. So it's on zero, but what happens when I move it just slightly, like literally a millimeter to the left or to the right? It's no longer calibrated properly. So technique is really important here. Same thing when we're using this on an animal's eye. If I don't have it right in the center of the eye, I'm not going to get a very accurate reading. Um, so touchy piece of equipment, but once you get used to using it, um, it's actually a really nice piece of equipment to have around. So it's calibrated properly. It's ready to use on an animal. We'll talk about some of these other weights that you see in here next week. Um, but what I need to do next is get it taken apart and put back in the case. So what I'm going to do I'm going to um, wipe off the debris that was on the foot plate that might be from my animal. I'm going to hold the pin in place and I'm going to unscrew the little weight. Maybe. And again, remember it's free spinning, so no matter how much you spin it, it's never going to feel like it's loosened or tightened. Um, so just keep spinning it until you feel like the pin is sliding down a little bit, and then you can just take it over the case and dump everything into, into the case there. So I'm going to hold everything off to the side so I can have room to put the tonometer. I'm going to take another um, cotton ball, wipe the foot plate off one more time. I'm going to um, squeeze some more alcohol right through the hole there because remember we use this on our patient. Run my pipe cleaner through it a couple more times. <laughs> Get the lint off. And then I'm just going to gently set this back in the case with the scale side facing up. Okay. I'm going to take this little <coughs> pin. Now I'm going to wipe off the end that has the um, threads on it first. But remember, keep your fingers as far away from the fat end as you can. Wipe off the threads, move your fingers down, and then you're going to wipe off the thicker end. And then you can hold this like that with your cotton ball because then you're going to need to attach the um, weight. And then I'm going to wipe the weight off one more time. Two more times. And now the weight on this goes on with the little bleb facing um, the skinny side, same as it did on the, the, the um, kale tonometer. And then just twist it all on until it's tightened. And then you're just going to go ahead and put this right back in the case. Okay? So we'll talk a lot more about this piece of equipment. Um, next week when we have our ophthalmology lab, but this is the care and maintenance of it that, that you'll need to do the demonstration for, okay?